My name is Versatile, and this is my way of fighting back against bad tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power Now, hosted on Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great game tutorial today. I recently installed Windows 10. It's a great operating system. And one of the first things I did was I got my PS3 game controller to work through USB and also through Bluetooth dongle. And I got it working in less than two minutes. And I'm going to show you in this rather long tutorial, maybe, on what I did. And hopefully that works for you. So we're going to use something called the SCP DS3 method. And this works on Windows 10, and it should also work on Windows 8 and also earlier, like Windows 7. And I did not do anything special like uh, disable driver enforcement or anything like that, but I will have some uh, links in the more info section for additional troubleshooting tips if today's video does not help you for whatever reason, but I'll do my best here. So let's do this. So if you go to the more info section, I got a link to this fantastic website, this forums.pcsx2.net. It's a nice thread here. Bottom line is what we're going to do, and I'm going to do this live too here, is we're going to download the latest version, which is 120160, call that the base. And then what you also want to do is download the update, 122175 at the time of this recording. Also requirements, real quick here, just take a look at that. Um, when I installed Windows 10, I had all the base requirements installed. And you do not need to install the Xbox 360 controller drivers. That is already part of your operating system. Now, I am using a genuine Sony DualShock 3 game controller. So if you're using something else, your mileage may vary. So just give it a try. You got nothing to lose. And then I'm also using this Bluetooth dongle that I have, this 2.0 um, plus dongle with EDR technology. So if you have a laptop that has internal Bluetooth, um, hopefully this works for you. If it doesn't, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to help you out later on. And of course, having admin rights always helps on your PC. So let's do this. So what I did earlier is I have both of these um, .7z files on my desktop. One is the 160 version and one is the .175 update. And to extract this, you're gonna need a program called 7-zip. See the more info section, you can get that. It's a freeware program for Windows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on the base package here. And the contents is called SCP server. So I'm just gonna drag it out to my desktop right now. And I'll show you the beauty of why we're gonna be doing this in a second here. So we're gonna copy and extract out that base package, great. Now we're gonna go into the 175 update and extract that to your desktop again. And the reason we're doing this is just makes it easy to replace all the files and make sure it's updated. Awesome, we're good to go. So that's like a major milestone step, so to speak. Next step we're gonna do is we're gonna press the Windows and E key, go to your PC, go to your C drive, and this worked for me. I'm using 64-bit Windows 10. So if you don't have 64-bit, then maybe use the x86 folder. But for my operating system, Windows 10, 64-bit, we're going to go to Program Files. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to say New and Folder. And I'm going to call it Scarlet.CrushProductions and press Enter. And you're good to go. Now double-click or press Enter again. Excuse me. Now we're going to copy that SCP server into here left click and move it basically click on any prompts to continue okay we're good to go we're almost there and go to uh, the bin folder all right now at this point in time you want to make sure your bluetooth dongle is already plugged into your pc or laptop and at this point in time you also want to plug in your ps3 game controller so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now all right, so PS3 game controller is plugged in. If I go into my game controllers under control panel, we'll see that this is recognized as a PlayStation 3 game controller. Now I'm gonna try to type in my buttons and everything. Nothing is working. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that real soon here. It's gonna be real sexy. So what we're gonna do now is SCP driver. We're gonna right click, run as administrator, just in case here. And for Windows 10, what you wanna do is say, configure service, Bluetooth driver, have both of these checked and then click on the install button, okay? And if you check a look at the forum thread, really great thread, you got some time, by all means, check it out. There is an image here that'll show you what it should look like in the end in terms of the install summary, and you should have like five items here. So let's go back to my screen, and let's see if I have the exact same five items. One, two, three, four, five, yes, cool. So I got all five items, that's excellent news. If for whatever reason you don't, maybe what you wanna do is go to uninstall, then go to force install, then install, and hopefully you get all five of these items in. Okay, so that's like 
we're halfway done, guys. We're almost there for a lot of good time. So now what we want to do next is I'm going to turn on my camera here, and I'm going to show you some real-life footage on my PS3 game controller working in a second here, and it's going to be really cool. All right, so camera's on. We got the video footage on. Let's do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this program here called SCP Monitor. Wow, that's a nice tune. So we're going to open it up. And here we see that my pad one is my PlayStation 3 game controller. So take a look in the camera, guys. And we see here's my PS3 game controller. Now let's go back to control panel, game controllers. And remember, it was used to be PlayStation 3, not anymore. It's now recognized as the Xbox 360 game controller, which is exactly what we want. Good times. So now we're going to go ahead, play around with here, analogs, buttons, triggers, select, start, uh, power PS keys. Apparently not a button, but everything else is working fine. D-pads, that's cool, very cool. Okay, so that is the USB method. If you don't have a Bluetooth, if you want to game on with your USB cable, now's the time to just game on. But let's say you want to do Bluetooth. Okay, what do you want? To, how do you do this? Okay, so just a note: when you install that Bluetooth driver, it's gonna make your dongle dedicated Bluetooth for this PS3 game controller. You cannot use that dongle anymore for keyboards or accessories unless you uninstalled SCP DS3 server program. So let me show you how the Bluetooth works. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna literally disconnect my USB cable. Okay, uh, you might think you're screwed because it's blinking like four LEDs here. Take a look at the camera guys. But hopefully, hopefully, you gotta give it some time. You might have to play around with it. But here we see that one LED is connected, number one. And it's connected through Bluetooth. So let me go back to my game controllers. And we go to properties. Take a look at the camera, guys. Look at this. Awesome. No USB cable connected. That's awesome. And the beauty behind the SCP DS3 program is it's a service. So if I were to restart my PC, and then when I go back to my desktop, all I gotta do is go to my PS3 game controller, press the PS button in the middle here, wait about a couple seconds or so. And then it's going to automatically sync to my Bluetooth dongle. And I'm ready to have a lot of good times. If you always want to double check, you can always have your SCP monitor running down here. So just, you know, SCP monitor. Um, sometimes some people say run the SCP server just in case if you're having issues and you want to troubleshoot. But you don't need to do that. Most of the time, I just make sure I have SCP monitor down here in the bottom here. And that just helps make sure that I got my game controller connected. And if for some reason you want to go into more advanced settings, go to right click, configuration. Here you can mess around with your thresholds and things like that and have a lot of good times from that method. So that is uh, pretty much the nutshell tutorial. Um, this assumes you got a Bluetooth dongle, you got a game controller that's compatible and you could do with USB or you can do with Bluetooth and that's it. I did not have to mess around with disabling Windows 10 driver enforcement, you know, something to that effect. But if that works for you, Great, that's definitely a troubleshooting step. And I have a link in more info section if you want to investigate that further. If you need to do that, I personally did not have to do that for my Windows 10 64-bit machine. So I hope that today's tutorial is useful. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, let me know, post a comment, let's learn together and figure this out. So that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.